guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to share with you some of my personal favorite bookish accessories, things that are bookish related, things that I use to help me read, and things that I think book lovers could find useful or just fun because the holidays are coming up. If you have a bookish person in your life that you want to get a gift for, I think these would be wonderful options for them. First one I want to talk about is a website called Bookish Boutique, and this is a company that creates bookish things. So there's t-shirts, there's coffee mugs, there's tote bags, there's pillows, there's all sorts of fun things, and they're just, they're so much fun. So I'm going to show you a few things from them, and uh, I was able to pick out a couple things, and let me tell you. They are so cute. First thing is my shirt that I'm wearing. <laughs> I know it's hard for you to see, but it is a woman with her hair in a bun and she's got some sunglasses on and looks like she's reading a book and it says hashtag bookaholic. I love this shirt. It's very, very comfortable. I got the gray because gray is my favorite neutral ever, but they have all sorts of different colors and it just, it feels really nice. I love this shirt. And we all know that your girl loves her coffee and I love coffee mugs so much. So when I saw coffee mugs on their site, I was like, yes, please. So I got one of my favorite patterns of theirs that they create and I put it on a coffee mug and that is Bookaholic with a bookshelf in a heart. Can you even, isn't that adorable? This is a 15 ounce mug, which is my jam because I like to fill my coffee cup up <laughs> and this comes in black and white as well. So I chose the black one, but it also comes in white. And in the white one, the books are black. It's so cute. Both of them are so cute. And they also have tote bags, you guys. And when this thing came, I was shocked at how big it is. But look at this, Bookaholic, stack of books, my favorite color blue. This was made for me. This thing is ginormous. I can fit so many books in here. I wish I had had this in time for a North Carolina trip because I would have put all my books in here, but it was shipping at that time, so I didn't have it in time. But huge, like you can fit so much in here. And these handles are very, very sturdy. Like this is gonna be able to hold some weight. You guys, perfect for book shopping, perfect to take to the library. If you have a library lover in your life who goes to the library often and likes to fill up with books, perfect for that. This thing is awesome. So again, that is Bookish Boutique. I will leave their website link down below. I also have an affiliate with them. So full disclosure, and I do make a tiny small commission off any sales that come from that affiliate link. So if it's something that you're interested in or something you think someone else would be interested in, share it, get a gift, whatever you need to do. But um, that link is down below for you. Um, another thing that I've been really enjoying lately is bookmarks. Don't we all love the bookmark? You can find bookmarks everywhere. You can find them for free in a lot of places, especially bookstores and libraries. They just give them out. Um, but one bookmark that I have been really enjoying lately are book charms. Now, these are very intricate. <laughs> they are on a wire, as you can see, and they have charms on the top and the bottom. Now, um, the one that I personally have has this white stone and then a little bead here as well. And then there's a little book on the opposite end of it. If you can see that, it's a little book. And then it has some over here as well. Now, these are sold on Etsy and these are actually sold by Kayla from Books and Lala. Her and her mother have an Etsy shop where they sell these. So her mother makes them and Kayla does all the promotions and sales and stuff for them. So. They are in on this together and I have gotten a few of these. Actually, I have a couple. This is the one I've been using more lately and then I've gotten a couple for gifts as well and everyone's really liked them. So they sit in your book and they come out from the top and the bottom and it looks really cute. I love these things. Another bookmark that I don't use as a bookmark, but it's labeled a bookmark on Amazon. <laughs> this was introduced to me from Audrey from Chapter and Converse. And it's something that she has used in her reading vlogs. And I asked her one day, I was like, what is that that you're using when you're reading? I'm really interested in that. And she sent me the link for it. And it is a weighted bookmark is what it's called. So this is what it is. This is what it looks like. There is a weight here and a weight here. And you can tell like it's, it's hefty. It's not super, super heavy where it's gonna like dent anything, but it has some weight to it. And when you are reading a paperback book or a hardcover book and you're having trouble keeping everything open or you don't wanna use your hands to keep it open, you wanna lay it on a table or something, you put this on it and it keeps the book open for you. So as an example, we will do Lilac Girls. So if I'm reading Lilac Girls 
and I'm putting it on the table, it doesn't necessarily sit flat, as you can see. I could probably push it out. Of course, you risk breaking the spine that way. But if I just want to put it on the table and read while I'm eating or doing something else, then I can put this on here and it's going to keep it, see how it flattens it out that way? It will keep it open for me without damaging the spine or anything like that. It just kind of uh, keeps everything down without you having to worry about it. Or if you have a book where just the pages are kind of going on their own and that's really annoying <laughs> and you don't want to have to hold it, this thing is perfect for that. So this is something I've really been enjoying when I'm reading physical books. I'm using it more often than I'm not, so it's a great find. Okay, if you have a reader who likes to read at night um, and it's somebody that you're sharing a bed with, however, the light keeps the light that's on is bothering you. Um, say hello to my husband. <laughs> but I use a book light when I read at night because I always read at night. I always have to read before I go to bed. It helps calm me. It keeps me sane before I go to bed and it helps me relax and I can sleep better. So every single night I am reading. And if I'm reading a physical book, I am using a book light. This one is from Vaunt, and this is the one I've been preferring lately. So um, you literally just clip it onto usually the back of your book, and then you turn it on, and it has three different settings for lighting, and it lights your book perfectly without taking up the entire room and having the entire room lit. It's just a nice little soft yellow light that doesn't bother your partner while they're sleeping. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in here as well. If you do have somebody who likes to read at night, another great option is a Kindle, to be honest, because I can read on my Kindle at night and it's backlit without being harsh on your eyes. It's not like a tablet backlit. It's a very soft backlit, so it's it doesn't hurt your eyes at all. And you can easily read at night without any lights on in the room at all. And you can see your book, no problem. And so this really definitely doesn't bother your partner when you're when they're sleeping. Um, so I also read on my Kindle at night when I can. I personally have the Kindle Oasis. There is also a Kindle Paperwhite, which is a cheaper option. It's a different size. Um, it's, it's kind of more shaped like a book, if you will. This is more of a square, but the Kindle Paperwhite is more like a book size. And both are great options. I have read on both, loved both. This is just what I'm using right now. And the Kindle Paperwhite tends to go on sale quite a bit as well. So something to look out for if it's something that you're thinking about getting somebody. I think this is a fantastic gift. And my husband has gotten me a Kindle Paperwhite for <laughs> Christmas before, and it was my favorite thing because you have access to so many books. So if you know somebody that you're looking for a gift for and you want to spend a little bit of money on them and they are readers, it's a fantastic option. If you have a planner who is also a book lover, I would definitely recommend a reading planner. This one that I'm personally using this year is the Bookworm Life Reading Planner, and it helps you keep track of the books that you're reading. There's fun pictures in here. There is lists that you can make. And uh, one of my favorite things is to track how many are all the books that you're reading this year. And you do that with this fun bookshelf. So this is printed in here and then you write the names of the books on the spines. And then I choose to color them in. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I choose to color them in. And like, it's just so much fun. And then every month there's a TBR page where you can write down the books you're planning to read that month. You can use it as a regular day planner as well. They have monthly and weekly options. And then at the end of the month, there is a wrap up where you can write in all the books that you did read and you can keep track of your book hauls, books that you purchased. It's just fun. It's so much fun to keep track of your reading that way. So I definitely highly recommend a reading planner. This is one I've been using for two years and I really enjoy it. So I will link this down below as well. It's on Etsy and it's a lot of fun. And there's tons of stickers that you can get to coincide with this as well. High recommend. Last one I want to recommend is a gift subscription to Book of the Month. Now, Book of the Month is a monthly service where there are five books that are put up and you can choose which one of those books you want to get for the month. So I think this is a great gift option because it lets people make their own decisions and you're going to get three books out of it minimum, <laughs> definitely. 
And there's also add-ons that people can add on if they want to for a reduced price in hardcover books. A lot of times they are debut authors you've never heard of. A lot of times they are new releases that are released early just for book of the month, whereas they're not released to the general public yet. So if you're a member, you can get those early, which is fantastic. And there's something for everybody. There's multiple different genres. There's fiction, there's nonfiction, there's fantasy, there's literary fiction, there's thrillers, there's romance. There's so much. <laughs> so um, I definitely think like a three month subscription to this would be fantastic for a book lover in your life to get them to try it out, especially if it's someone who's been wanting to try it but hesitates. Go ahead and give them a th little three month subscription, and let them try it out and see what they think. And uh, yeah, so definitely I would recommend this for sure. I've been using Book of the Month. I have been a member of theirs for a year and a half and I have loved it so much. Okay, guys, that is it. Those are some gift ideas for the bookish lovers in your life. Hope that this gives you some ideas if you're struggling to get a gift for somebody who does love to read and who loves books, or maybe somebody who wants to get more in to reading and wants to kind of start shifting their focus more on books. I know there's a lot of people who will go through ups and downs with reading. And so if there's someone that you know who has you know stated that they want to get back into reading I think a book of the month thing would be perfect for that it'll open their eyes to some new releases coming out and give them the opportunity to read those and just some fun accessories that you can use and show off your love for books and reading so I hope this has been helpful and I will link everything that I talked about down below every single thing that I talk about I will leave so um, I hope it gives you guys some ideas and let me know down below if you are a book lover, what has been one of the best gifts you've gotten that is kind of bookish. Let me know. Mine is definitely a Kindle <laughs> that my husband got me. I also just love Barnes and Noble gift cards. Let's be real. Have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.